Vox Pod. Make your voice heard. Hello, everybody. This is Jericho Kenobi checking in live from Jericho Kenobi Studios here in Fort Worth, Texas. And on this fine Texas Tuesday, we're going to show you something that I'm guessing you've never seen before, even if you're a pro, regular, longtime user of Adobe Audition, and that is a neat little Easter egg that came to my attention from one of the employees here at Jericho Kenobi Studios, and I said, you know what, we've got to share this one with the world because it's just too cool to stay hidden. Um, So let's take a look at it. Uh, Unfortunately, if you're expecting something that's going to unlock some really cool new features or do something that you've never been able to do before inside of Adobe Audition, it's not that kind of Easter egg. As with all great Easter eggs, and I'm harking back to the days of early video games, the best Easter eggs are the ones that surprise you when you're doing something that you expect one thing, but you get a different result that's kind of goofy and and relates to maybe the, the quirkiness of the developer. So here we go. Let's jump right into it. If you're using Adobe Audition, and I don't know if this how far back in Adobe Audition this goes. I'm using Adobe Audition CC 2019. Um, go to About Audition, and you get that by going up to Adobe Audition CC in the menu. Uh, I'm not sure what that's going to say if you're on Windows. You're just on your own to find this. And go down to About Audition. It's the first thing in the drop-down after Adobe Audition CC. And what brings up is this large Adobe Audition CC kind of blank, odd-looking About screen. And the question I had is, why is it so big? Why should they need this much space to show what is essentially two lines of text? Well, the answer is because they hid something inside this screen. Now, normally, the way you get out of this is just by clicking it. It goes away. Click, gone. So let's bring it back up and show you what happens if you click in a special spot. If in this screen you click any of the O's in either Adobe or Audition, check out what happens. Now, how cool is that, huh? Somebody at Adobe had a little bit of time on their hands, and, you know, if you're looking for a specific update with Adobe, and I've got a couple in the queue that I'm hoping they make, you might prefer they worked on something other than a small physics game inside of Adobe Audition. But, hey, you can pick these things up. You can throw them around. If you right-click, you actually make holes. And what do those holes do? Well, let's drop another one. Look at that. It's like Plinko, right? So that's it. That's all it does. And you can actually make new ones. Once you've engaged it by clicking the O's, all you have to do is click again, left click, and you'll drop more anywhere you want. You can pick them up and throw them. And you know what? If you're spending all day sitting in front of your computer screen looking at waveforms, and in our case, we really enjoy the spectral editor, then you know what? You might need a little bit of break. And I think that's probably how this came about. Somebody at Adobe needed a break and decided to code in this little Easter egg. So there you go. That's your Adobe Audition CC Easter egg. If you know of any others, put them down in the comments. If you have an older version of Adobe Audition, I'd be interested to hear how far back does it go? Does it go back to the CS days? Uh, How far, you know, does it even go back potentially all the way to Cool Edit Pro? And if you click the O's in Cool or Pro, do you get anything there? So check in with us. Let us know in the comments below. Let us know whether you think this is an interesting uh, little Easter egg or something that's just a waste of time from the Adobe Audition engineers. Interested to hear your comments, but that's it for us today. Oh, one last thing. Now that you've engaged this, you can't disengage the About screen by clicking on it anymore because you'll just create an infinite number of these little balls that bounce around. Um, So you have to actually click Escape in order to get out of that. Normally, you could just click on it, but you can't do that anymore because you get this noise. So what you got to do is actually hit escape. All right. So I don't want you to get stuck on that screen. Hit escape. You'll get out of it. Everything goes back to normal. If you bring the about screen back up again, you see it's everything that it was before. Just a big blank open box waiting for you to play with some of the Adobe Audition bouncy balls. All right. So thanks a lot for checking out the video. We've got lots more content in the queue. Looking forward to talking with you and exchanging some cool ideas on recording. Thanks a lot. This is Jericho Kenobi signing off from Jericho Kenobi Studios in Fort Worth, Texas. Have a great day. Thank you.